start with a warm up. If possible, I would like to be able to see you. If I can't see all of you, that's okay, but as much as you can. And I want everyone to start with 20 jumping jacks. So, oh. And you're gonna do 20 high knees. So each leg is like in total is one. So both legs is one rep. And you are gonna do 40 butt kickers. Go, or like, 40 counting each leg. And I'm gonna turn you guys on mute just so you can hear me better. But if you have any questions, feel free to turn yourself off mute. Okay. And when you're done with that, you're gonna do 20 straight jumps with your arms glued to your ears, squeezing super tight. Good, and I want everyone to do 10 inchworms. So you're gonna get in a pike, you're gonna walk all the way out, not to a push-up position, but past that as far as you can, and then walk back, holding the plank for three seconds. You're gonna do that 10 times. Try not to let your hips wobble back and forth. You wanna try and keep them squared and still if possible. And if you can keep your arms and legs straight the whole time, that would be really awesome too. Uh, I told this to people earlier in the video, but if you need water or you wanna get a water bottle, so you have water near you, feel free to do that because I wanna make sure you guys get water if you need it. So we're gonna wait until everyone's done, take your time. This isn't a race. This is your warm up, so make sure you do it well. And when you're done with these, you have 20 more jumping jacks. I want you to try and have soft feet so you shouldn't be stomping on the ground. Okay, and we're gonna do some stretching. So everyone stand up. And, oh, Ari's back. Okay, Ari, you missed our warm up, so just do 20 jumping jacks, if you can. Okay, so grab your right leg, and you're gonna stretch, stretch your quads. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. Make sure you push your hips forward the hip of your leg forwards and try to keep your knee by your other knee. And stretch the other leg, same thing. If you need a wall or something to balance on, feel free. Good, and bring your other leg up into a knee hug. Again, you want your hips pushed forward. For side view, just one leg, trying to get it all the way up to your chest. And the other leg, half pointed toes. Your bottom leg should be straight and your chest should be up and down. I don't want you to drop your chest to your knee. Good. And reach up, go into a pike stretch for 10, nine, eight. I'm still counting. Try and get your hands behind your feet if possible or flat on the ground. Three, two, one, good. And bring your right leg in front into a right leg stretching lunge. So make sure you push your, if you're in a right leg stretching lunge, try and push your left hip forward and have your butt squeeze. Stay in it, stay in it. 
And I'm gonna unmute you guys if you guys have any questions because it shouldn't be too loud when you guys are stretching. Straighten your front leg and get into a pre-split. So your front leg should be straight and you should be reaching towards your toes. Good, head down towards your knee. And slide into your split. We're gonna hold this for about 30 seconds. The last 10 seconds, I want you to pick your arms up into side middle. But I will let you know when, not yet. Keep your hands on the ground just for now. Try and make sure your hips are as square as possible. So your belly button should be pointing forwards. It shouldn't be pointing to the side. And both hips should be pointing forwards as well. Make sure your back leg is straight and your front leg is straight. And your pinky toe of your front foot should be closer to the ground than your big toe. And we're gonna lift our, arm, like, whoa, our arms up to side middle for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. And get into your left leg stretching lunge. Making sure you push your right hip forward squeezing your butt and keeping your chest up nice and tall. Um, I have to leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, will you be coming next Tuesday? Um, I think so. Okay, bye. <laughs> and straighten your front leg, reach towards your toe, your front foot. Does anyone else have to leave early? No. All right, and I know for some of us, our classes are usually two hours. Uh, the Zoom call is only gonna be one hour. And slide into split. Wait, this class is only gonna be one hour? Yeah. Okay. Because since we don't have any actual apparatus or apparati, so we, because we don't have an actual vault or most of us don't have an actual trampoline or a bar, we are I'm, not going to be doing two hour classes. I have an actual trampoline. I know, which is awesome, but since not everyone has it, we can't make a curriculum around it. Because Can you do this both sides? What? Can you do this with both sides? No, you should be in a split right now on your other no. leg. Can you do this with me both oh. sides? Well, yeah, I'm doing it right now, <laughs> really. And bring your arms out to side middle for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So I want you guys to sit on your butt. So your shins are on the ground and your feet are on the ground, but your butt is on your ankles. And you're gonna bring your wrist out in front of you, have your palms flat on the ground and stretch your wrist. If you need more of a stretch, bring your hands a little bit more in front. Of you. So you should feel it in the muscle under below where your elbow is. Good. And straighten one arm, bend the other arm, and do that again. So kind of pedal them back and forth, straightening and bending them. And then flip your wrist and have the back of your hands on the ground. And again, your butt should be on your heels. Good. And cross them and rock back and forth. If you have any questions during this, feel free to ask because you can't see all of me. It might be a little confusing. And cross in the other direction and rock back and forth. Good. And roll them 10 times in each direction. How much longer? Good. And roller coaster. And try and roller coaster the other way. Hotter than it looks. And cross one arm in front and pull it. You should feel it in your shoulders. Also, make sure that you're sitting up straight during these exercises. I don't want you to be hunched over. And switch. Uh, the later one. 
and bring this arm over. You want your hand in the middle of your back, trying to reach down your spine. When's the cold walk gonna come? And switch. If you don't feel that much of a stretch, use your head and your hand to kind of pull your arm back a little. Good. What? Caroline, do you have a feather? I uh, yes. And circle your neck three times, really slowly in each direction. Good. And get ready to push up into a bridge. So get bridge ready. And when I tell you to push up, three, two, one, push up into a bridge. Really focus on pushing your shoulders forward or away from your feet, keeping your arms straight and squeezing your butt and your core. So you're gonna hold this for five, four, three, two, one, and come down. Rock and roll, do three rock and rolls, grabbing one hand on each leg. And get ready to push up into another bridge. Uh, this time I want you to do 10 rocks. And before you push up in these rocks, make sure that your shoulders push really far forward, not really far backwards. So you want your shoulders pushing as far away from your feet as you can, but you don't want them coming really close to your feet, if that makes sense. So push up and you have 10 bridge rocks. Make sure your feet are flat on the ground. Your heels should be on the ground. Make sure your feet aren't pointed. And when you are ready, when you're done with that, you can do another three rock and rolls just to stretch out your back. Good. And I want everyone to lay on your back, lift your legs up and your hands up. So your legs should be a little bit below all the way, all the way vertical. They should be a little lower. And you're gonna do 10 rolls one direction and 10 rolls the other direction. Your feet should be a little bit apart so they do have room to go all the way in a circle. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Good. And last stretch, get into a butterfly and try and touch your nose to your toes. We're gonna hold this for 10, nine, eight. If you wanna use your elbows to push your knees a little bit closer to the ground, you can. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. So, oh, not everyone was here. If you want to look for more programming or have more ideas of things you can do um, since you're home all day, you can go on the CAVE website and you can go on YouTube channel and they have a lot of good programming ideas and so those are really interesting and I suggest that you check them out because that way you can get in more practice than just an hour every week. Okay so does everyone have room to do handstand? Yes. Yes. Laura do you have room? Okay. Yeah. So everyone stand up. We're gonna keep it really basic today because for some of us we haven't been practicing in a while. Um, and I want everyone to get into a really awesome lunge, but I want your lunge sideways on the camera so I can see what your, pop, your form looks like. So I want you to be sideways. Good. So I want your arms nice and straight. Your front leg should be bent and your back leg should be straight. Your arms glued to your ears. Let me see what you guys look like. Good, I want your arms glued. I don't want you holding your hands. Make sure your back is nice and tall. You should, your chest should be leaning slightly forward. So I don't want you standing straight up. It should be slightly forward in a diagonal. Good. And turn so that you have room. And I want you to kick up into a handstand and come back down into a lunge. 
So everyone into a lunge, kick up into a handstand, try to get your feet to come together and come back down into a lunge. Awesome. So, okay. So I saw a lot of people's arms come away from their ears as they were coming up out of their handstand. I want you to think about going through the T position as you're coming up out of your handstand. So to practice this, I want everyone to get into another lunge. You can face whichever direction you have room. And then go into a T and you're gonna hold it for five seconds. So five, four, trying to make sure that your hands to your feet are a straight line. Three, two, one, and come back into a lunge. Back into a lunge, good. And we're gonna do that one more time. So start in a lunge and go to T for five, four, try and make your body a straight line, arms glued to your ears, three, two, one, and back to a lunge. Good, so that's the position you wanna try and go through when you're going into and out of your handstand. So at everyone's own pace, I want you to do five handstands, making sure you're trying to get into a good handstand shape and passing through that T. Try and hold it as long as you can. So you can get started, I'm gonna watch you guys. Can I go get my water bottle? Yeah, sure. If you need water at any point, feel free to get it. Okay. Good. Make sure you guys aren't too arched in your handstand. Kaylin, if you could move a little bit back more so I could see your handstand. The other way, like that way. Good, yeah. I really like your T shapes though. Good. Make sure we're squeezing our butts as much as we can. Good, Ari, make sure your legs are straight going in and out of your handstand. Kaylin, I like your T position, good job. Good, Charlotte. Make sure our toes are pointed and our arms are glued to our ears the whole time. Ooh, Laura, get those legs together. Make sure your legs are glued together at the top of your handstand. Uh, if you want to, you can keep working on your handstands until everyone's done, or you can wait until we all finish. Is everyone done? All right. Awesome. So, does everyone remember what a good handstand shape is. I know it's been a while. Mm -hmm. uh, Charlotte, do you have one piece of a good handstand shape? You have to be hollow. You have to what? Be hollow. Yeah, so you want to be not exactly hollow, but you want to be more in a straight line. Uh, yes, Ari. Right. Um, pointed toes. Yes, always pointed toes in everything we do. Uh, Laura, do you know? Yeah. Arms by your ears. Yes, arms by your ears. Especially when you're coming out of your handstand, we don't want to see any broken teeth. We want to be in a nice straight line. And Caitlin, do you have any thing that you know what about Ari, our handstand shape? What? What Ari said. What Ari, Ari said. said. Okay. Yeah. So we want to make sure that our hips are pushed slightly forward, that we're squeezing our butt as much as we can, and that our arms are glued to our ears, and that they are open. So we don't want to have closed shoulders in our handstands. We want them to be as open as possible. So everyone stand up. We're going to do a really quick thing to work on our handstand shape. And then we're going to do two more handstands. So everyone stand up with your arms by your ears. And I know it seems silly because we're just standing, but it is going to help your handstand. So I want you to squeeze your butt as tight as you can, push your hips forward, and make sure your arms are open. So I don't want to see this bent shape. I want it to, you to try and get a straight line from your hands to your toes. So your butt squeeze and your hips push forward. We're gonna hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. So I want everyone to do two handstands, focusing on holding that shape while you're in your handstand. Good. Good job, Ari. Good, make sure we're squeezing our butts and trying to get our legs together at the top of our handstand. Good. And does anyone know what we use to keep our balance in our handstand? What part of our body? All right. Our hands. Yes. So when we're trying to balance in our handstand, we want to try and use our fingertips to balance. So if we start falling over, over our body, like towards our heels, 
then you want to use your fingertips to push you back over. And yeah, so it's super important that we use our fingertips when we're doing our handstand. Does everyone feel themselves using their fingers in your yeah. handstand? Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ari, do you have a question? No. Oh, you were just saying you felt your you yourself using your fingers? All right. Awesome. So I want everyone to, does everyone have space where they can do a handstand against a wall or no? It's okay if you yeah. don't. Yeah. You do? Ari, do you have space? I'm going to go upstairs to do that. Okay. I'm going to go upstairs. So, do you have space? Okay. I'm going to go upstairs. Ari, do you have room? If not, it's okay. You can still do what we're doing. One thing. If it's going to be too much of a hassle, you don't have to do it. Oh, then yeah, sure. All right. So, I'm going to use my phone as a timer. So you guys are going to hold a 30 second handstand against the wall, okay? And I want you guys focusing on having your shoulders open, feeling your, yourself using your fingertips and squeezing your butt during this handstand, okay? Um, uh, if you think that you can safely get up into it, yes. If not, if you don't have a space against the wall, then you can just kick up and down out of a handstand for 30 seconds. I have space, even if that doesn't work. Okay. I have so, a question. Yes. Uh, is it Spider-Man or no? Uh, yeah. I want you guys to be in a Spider-Man handstand. So your hands should be pretty close to the wall. And I want you to think about having your stomach round, but your shoulders open. Okay. Right. So get ready to get into a handstand, a Spider-Man handstand. And you guys are gonna climb up in three, two, one. Good. So make sure your toes are pointed. Your hips should be against the wall and you should be pushing super tall through your shoulders. I shouldn't see any space. So you should be pushing really tall. Good. Try not to have any space between your legs. So your toes should be pointed, your legs should be together. You guys are at 22 seconds, so you have eight seconds left. Pushing your hips against the wall, open shoulders, arms nice and straight, and come down. Either walk down or forward roll if you have room. Good. So that shape that you felt against the wall is what I want you to try to feel while you're holding the handstand um, in just the free air. So really fast, just stretch out your wrist. You've been doing a lot of handstands. And turn them out the other way. Good. I want you guys to do three more free standing handstands, so just in the air. And then when you guys are done with that, we're gonna do one more against the wall and then we're gonna move on to cartwheels. Good, Laura, make sure your arms are nice and straight. Good. So Charlotte, try and make sure that your second leg comes up fast to meet the leg that's all already up. So kick that second leg, good. That was awesome, Charlotte. Good, Ari. Don't forget to go through that T position. Good, Ari. All right. I'll let everyone finish their handstands. Awesome. I like those handstands, those are awesome. Where did Charlotte go? Oh, there she is. Okay, and get ready to climb back up into one more handstand. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds again. Yep, on a wall. Sorry, Laura, I keep making you move. Oh, you're yeah, just gonna do it against there? Is that gonna is that gonna be 30, Laura? Yeah. Okay. And climb up in three, two, one. Ah. Ooh, be careful. Okay. Good. Again, we want our hands close to the wall and we want our hips pushed forward against the wall. We wanna push our arms up super high. Make sure your hands aren't turned out. Woo, keep your legs together and that they're straight in front of us. So you have eight more seconds. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your core. Um, if this is too difficult for you, just try and hold a handstand and squeeze it in the air. Okay, and everyone come down. Good job, Woo, be careful. Okay, <laughs> everyone be careful of their surroundings. 
So if you don't have space or if you don't feel comfortable doing it in the space that you have, for those 30 seconds in the future, you can just do it just in the air, but just come up and down as much as you can for 30 seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to cartwheels. So does everyone have room to do a cartwheel? I need to move downstairs. Yeah, okay. me too. Oh, Charlotte, you moved to the background. <laughs> How do you do it? Uh, Sarla, I know that's that's very cool, but I don't want you to have a background right now, just so that I can see okay. what you're doing during your gymnastics. Okay. Do you like your background though? It's very pretty. <laughs> Mom, can you take Rasha? All right. Is everyone in a safe space where they have room to do their cardio? Yeah. All right. Awesome. I gotta move back. All right. So we start our cartwheels the same way we start our handstands, in a nice sturdy lunge with our arms glued to our ears. Good. And so I want everyone to get in a nice pretty lunge right now. Make sure, making sure your front leg is bent and your back leg is straight. Ari, get into a good lunge for me, please. Thank you. Good. And I want everyone to do a cartwheel, making sure that you land in a nice sturdy lunge again. Good. So, look at where you started your cartwheel and look at where you finished your cartwheel. I want to make sure that it isn't going to one side or the other. You want to be landing pretty much in a straight line from where you started your cartwheel. So everyone, do five cartwheels. Make sure you have space. If not, you can keep working on your handstand. Your arms should be glued to your ears from beginning to end, and you should have nice straight legs and pointed toes. We do Good. Or just one. Oh, so I want you to do five cartwheels. Yeah, like everyone in total should do five cartwheels. Try, try and keep your legs straight. Good, all right. So it's super important in our cartwheels that our head is in a specific place. Does anyone know where our head should be in our cartwheel? Laura, do you know? Under, I mean like yeah. between the arms. Yeah, so I want us to practice our cartwheels as though we were doing them on beat. And when we're on beam, our head should be under our armpit. It shouldn't be over, and it shouldn't be looking into our arm. It should be in front of our armpit like that. So, yeah, Charlotte, do you have a question? Oh, you're on mute. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh, uh, there you go. What's your question? Uh, how do I know? <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you repeat that? How do I know if I'm going in a straight line? Um, doesn't your, you're on your deck, right? Well. Does, uh, Ari, can you hear me? Okay. Um. Who's that? That's Ari. Yeah. Ari, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, Charlotte, does your deck have lines on it? Um. Yeah. So you can do your cartwheels in in place, like on the line, and that'll tell you if you're in a straight line. Uh, so I want everyone to do three cartwheels, focusing on getting your head under your armpit. Let me see. Ooh. Laura, you should be ending facing the direction you came from. Good. Good. All right, so your head is under your armpit, so you're not looking in that direction. You're kind of still looking forward. So make sure your head and your eyes are turned all the way to the side. Let me see, Laura. Good. And Caitlin, can I see? Uh, yes. Good. So I can't see your head, but your legs are nice and straight. <laughs> so good job. <laughs> Good. Uh, Charlotte, did you do three cartwheels? No. Um. Good, Ari. Make sure you're landing your lunge with your hips forward. Good. Let me see one more, Charlotte. 
Yeah. Good. So, Charlotte, your your front leg is landing in a straight line, but your back leg is stepping out. You guys want to make sure that your back leg is directly in line with your front foot. Better. Good. Just make sure your test is up. All right. Um, can and I just go get a plug for my iPad? Yeah, sure. All right. Now I want everyone to work on cartwheel step together. So in our cartwheel step together, we do the same exact thing as a cartwheel. We just bring our second foot in right next to our foot. And in order to make sure that we do these safely and correctly, as your back leg is coming down, you want to make sure your chest snaps up fast with your back leg. Okay? So from the front, you start in a lunge. I'm going to do it kind of slowly. You twist, one foot goes down, the other foot comes in right next to that other foot, and you land on your tippy toes. Okay? Mom! So I want everyone to try that, okay? Making sure that our arms stay glued to our ears, and we snap that back foot into next to our front foot. All right, everyone try it. Good, Laura. How many should so, we do? Uh, around five. Good. So we want to make sure we're squeezing our butt as much as possible because that's going to prevent us from arching or falling when we bring both feet in next to each other. Good, Laura. I can't. Good. All right. What did you say? Mom. Did you say something or no? No. Okay. Let me see, Charlotte. Wait, these because this is playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay. Uh, Charlotte, can you hear me? Wait, now I can. Okay. Um, Charlotte, can I see one? Or can we step together? Or that? Why didn't? No. Okay, that's okay. So we're working on our cartwheel step together. Do you know how to do a cartwheel step together? I want everyone to do three more cartwheel step together. Good. So we want to squeeze our legs super tight, okay? So, good. Make sure your back leg comes down really fast right next to our front foot. Good. If you need to slow it down in order to control it, I want you to do that. Good, Laura. Uh, Charlotte and Ari, I can't see you. I'm going to get out of the there you go. Hope I can. Uh, how do you get out of this thing? Charlotte? Oh, I think you go like this. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay. So, Charlotte, I didn't get to see that many cartwheel step together, and Ari, I didn't get to see that many because both your cameras were off. Can you each show me one more? Yeah. Laura. Laura, you can rest for a second. Good, Ari. It's not working. Charlotte, good job. Make sure that your chest doesn't stay down at the end of the cartwheel. You want to be up really tight, okay? Reaching tall. See, it's not working. Good. So, you guys have the leg part of the cartwheel step together, but another really important part is pushing through your shoulders, which in turn allows your chest to pop off. So, Charlotte, do you know when we push through our shoulders, should we bend our arms to push? No. No. Yeah. So all of it comes from just the shoulders. So I want everyone to kneel like this with their arms above your ears. Try and have flat hands like that. So everyone do it. Arms above your ears. Flat hands. And I want everyone to lower their shoulders with straight arms. Lower them and push up. Good. And I want you to do that five times, getting as low and as high as you can. Do that five times. Uh, all right, good. And now everyone do three cartwheel step together, pushing through our shoulders just like that while still bringing our feet in. How much is left of gymnastics? How much what? How much is left of gymnastics? Uh, 20 minutes. Okay, but I need to go inside. Okay. 
Wait, all because my iPad is losing its battery. Mom? Good. All right, make sure your arms stay by your ears as you're standing up. Do you know where a charger is for the iPad? That's good. So, can we make sure your feet come together at the end? So when your legs is kind of staying back a little, you want to snap them all the way together. Better. Good. Okay. Good. So normally I would want to move on to round off, but I don't want people to hurt their floor or hurt their feet. So we're not going to do round off today, but if you guys want to work on some one-handed cartwheels and you feel like you have enough room to safely do that, you guys can do five one-handed cartwheels. And if you want to try it on your other arm, you can do that too. Does everyone feel like they have enough space to do that safely? Yeah. Okay. Laura, I can't see you. Yeah, I can Is there any way? If, if not, that's okay. Now but, can you, would you yeah. be able to see me? Yeah, okay. that's better. If it's all gonna balance, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Oop, your phone fell. <laughs> okay. If it's gonna fall, it's okay. I don't want you to break your phone or your computer or whatever you're watching this on. Uh, Charlotte, do you? Can you turn your video back on? Am I back on video? I mean, not video. Am yeah, you're not on video. Where did I get? Uh, okay. okay. Um, did everyone try it on your bad side too? With your non-dominant leg? No? Do you want to try it on your non-dominant leg? Or do you guys feel like you don't have enough room? This is my non-dominant leg. <laughs> be safe. Be careful. <laughs> Alright. So we're going to finish with doing a little bit of conditioning. But before that, I want us to stretch out our backs a little because we're gonna start doing some back walkover stuff, but we're not gonna get fully into it. So everyone, get down on your back. Oh, it's okay, I don't want you to, it's okay. So everyone get on your back and I want you guys to push up into a bridge and you're gonna do 10 kicks on each leg, making sure that your legs stay straight. Also make sure that your hips stay square when you're kicking. I don't want your legs to go out to the side or cut in front of your body. Wait, somebody left. Yeah, Ari left. Maybe she's having some problems with her internet. So yeah, she couldn't hear me before also. I think she's gonna come. It only works when I do my iPad for me. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, right, I don't so, like, know why I'm that is. Okay, make sure you get your 10 kicks on each leg. Good. Laura, make sure your hips don't twist while you're kicking. Good. Awesome job, girls. These look awesome. Push your shoulders forward as much as you can while you're kicking. If you need to come down and take a rest between each leg, you can do that too. Make sure your leg that's kicking is nice and straight with pointed toes. Good. Uh, Charlotte, is there any way you can move your iPad down so I can see you? Um, I think so. Wait, um. If you can easily, that would be good, just so I can see you. If not, it's no problem. I think I can. Okay. But you're not gonna see me for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, hopefully you still figure that out. Um, now I want you guys, so in the beginning of practice, we did rocks. Now I want you to do five on each leg. You're gonna rock and kick at the same time. So I can demonstrate, don't mind, my bridge is not the prettiest, but you're gonna lean back, rock and kick at the same time. You guys get that? Yeah. Good, so you're gonna try and keep your leg as straight as you can. Wait, how many on each leg? Five. Oh. So you're gonna rock forward and kick. 
Oh, good. I know. If you get out of rhythm, that's okay. I'd rather you guys slow it down and take more time to figure out how to do it at the right timing than to kind of breeze through it and do it incorrectly. So five on each leg. This is for back walkovers because that shoulder push and the kick is what's gonna help you get over in your back walkover. Okay. Okay. Could, Wait, have so you done the five? So Charlotte, I want you to do the five uh, rocks and kicks at the same time. Good. Make sure your leg is up as your shoulders are pushed forward and your leg comes down as your shoulders come back. Good, try and have straight legs. Good job. Okay, and last thing, who here knows how to do a bridge? Do you feel like you could, I mean a back bend, sorry. I can do it, but I don't feel safe doing it on my wood floor. Oh yeah, true. All right, so we're not gonna do back bends right now. Does anyone, I don't wanna make you guys move again. I can move because I can go to okay. my other one. The last thing we're gonna do is you're gonna do bridge hops. So you're gonna hop your hands and your feet as you rock in your bridge. Do you guys know what that looks like or do you want me to show you? Wait, I think I know what it looks like. Does it look like this? Let me see. Uh, yeah, but Charlotte, make sure your knees are about the same this is the part of your feet because your knees are kind of coming out and I want them to, I want to make sure they're in line with your feet. Wait, so, can I see what it looks like again? What? Can I see what it looks like? Yeah. So, you're going to be in a bridge and you're going to rock and hop your legs as much as you can, trying to get them straight. Hang on. I want you to do 10 of those. I have to move this thing to make it so you can see my feet. Right. I'll be right back. It's okay. You don't have to. Look. Good. Try and get your legs straight if possible. These are really hard. If you want to take a break in between, feel free. How Good, many? Laura. Wait, how many? Ten. But you can rest as needed. Good. Charlotte, make sure your knees don't flare out, okay? Good. All right. We're going to wait until everyone's done. While you're waiting, uh, if you have an elevated surface near you, great. If not, that's okay. Get into a cat stretch. A what? A cat stretch. So like this. Hang on. I have to, I feel like I have to do two more. Sorry, two okay. more. That's okay, take your time. We're just gonna do a cat stretch while you're waiting. So, you want your butt like over your knees, not over your feet. And you should feel it in your shoulders. So move your body forward more a little. Good, yeah. And hold that for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, move even more forward. Forward more. Good. Three, two, one. Good. And relax. Let Charlotte finish. One last one. Good. So, the last 10 minutes, Laura, are you done? I don't know where Laura went. How are you Oh, there she is. Okay. Um, so we're gonna wait. Charlotte, are you done? Uh-huh. Oh. oh, actually, just kidding. We have one more thing. Um, I want everyone to attempt three bridge kickovers. Okay. So can we have an elevated can... surface? Yes. If you have an elevated surface, please use it. Have your feet as high as you need them, as long as it's safe. If you are using an elevated surface, please make sure that it won't tip over if you kick. Can I use my couch because um, otherwise I don't have room to do it sideways on my carpet? If your parents are okay with you using your couch and they yeah. say it's safe, you can. I do love to do that. Okay. Uh, Charlotte and everyone, please make sure when you're kicking over, your legs are straight and your toes are pointed. Charlotte, I want you to do one more trying to kick with straight legs. 
legs. So I would rather you not make it over and have straight legs. Good. Good. It's okay. Good try. Thank you for having straight legs. That was better. Good job. Nice, Laura. Cut arms by your ears when you finish, please. Good. These look awesome. What's for dinner? Good. So any of these drills you can do um, at any point in time, if you wake up or you're about to go to bed or just in the middle of the day, if you want to do some gymnastics, you can practice any of these and it'll help while we are on this break. Uh, that's it, awesome. We are going to finish with a little bit of conditioning. And I want you guys to try really hard because you guys work super hard in the gym to get nice and strong so you can do all your gymnastics. I don't want you guys to lose that strength while we're away from the gym, okay? So I want everyone to do their best. This conditioning isn't gonna be that hard. So everyone get into a push-up position. Charlotte, can you get into a push-up position? Not too many so you can see. Okay. Good. So everyone get into a push-up position and we're gonna hold this for 10 seconds. And then you guys are gonna do five push-ups. So hold it, hold the plank for five, four, three, two, one, and then do five push-ups. Good, and come down. Awesome, and you guys have, then you're gonna stand up. You guys are gonna do 20 lunges. Each leg counts as one, so one, two. Have your hands on your hips. If you want to do jumping lunges for an added challenge, feel free. You guys have 20. Good, Laura. Good job. Good. Make sure your knee doesn't go in front of your foot because that's going to hurt your knee. So you should be directly over, if not a little bit behind your foot. Good. How are supposed to do? What? Uh, you're supposed to do 20. Okay. And each leg counts as one. So one, two, three. Okay, good. Let everyone finish. And then you guys have 20 squats. So I want you to try and go all the way down as though you're sitting in a chair. Make sure your knees don't come in and make sure they don't flare out. They should go directly over your feet and your butt should sit back. So you shouldn't be leaning forward. Good. Do 20. Those look awesome, guys. Good job. You can hold your hands in front of you or you can put them on your hips. Good. Your hips should be a little bit further than hip width distance apart. All the way down. Guys, doing okay, but oh my God, I'm not even going to do it. Guys, I'm going to do 20. 19, 20. Good. Uh, and everyone sit on the ground. We're going to do one more set. You have one more thing, and then we're going to do one more set, and then you guys are going to be done. So you guys have 30 Russian twists. So your feet are off the ground and you're kind of sitting with a straight back and you reach to the side, reach to the other side. You have 30. So each time you touch the ground, that's one. Uh, that's one. Good. Try and make sure that your back stays flat and your feet stay off the ground. If it gets hard, you can rest for a second. But I want you to try and do all of them without your feet touching the ground. Good. We're going to wait for Charlotte to be done. She's done? Okay. And we're going to start round two. If anyone needs water, feel free to get some. We're almost done. But, what do you mean round okay. two? What? What do you mean round two? We're going to do that whole thing one more time. Oh. Okay. So everyone get into a plank. And we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8. Make sure you're squeezing your butt and your shoulders are rounded. You want your shoulders to be over your hands also. 
And go right into five push-ups, go. Make sure your butt stays down. I don't want you to be in a pyramid. Good. Try not to arch your back when you're coming up. Try and engage your core and be nice and tight. If you need to do a modified push-up, that's totally fine. Good. And you guys, oh, I'm gonna wait for you guys to finish. It's only five push-ups. Okay, and now we're gonna do our 20 lunges. Again, you can do jumping lunges if you want. Good. Why are you just jumping out of the screen? It's because I was my foot was going on concrete. Oh, okay. Good. If you jump, try and get your legs straight and pointed in between each jump. Good. We're gonna wait for everyone to finish. And now you have your 20 squats. Slow, slow. These should be slow and controlled. It should be a bounce up and down. Again, you want your knees over your feet. And your feet should be facing forwards. I don't want them to be turned out. All the way down, all the way up. Trying to keep your chest up. So you shouldn't be folding as you squat. You want to try and keep your chest up. Again, 20 of those. No. Good. She, she's tired. Good. Thank you for controlling your squats. So that's awesome. Did I skip something? Or did I I know we have Russian twist next. But did I skip something? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. So. You, you, what? You, uh, bridge kickovers. Uh, that's not part of our conditioning. That was just what we did before conditioning. Anyway, I guess that's it. And oh, last thing. Uh, you did. You you missed one layer on the bridge and you hopped. Well, those aren't part of the set that we're doing. We're just doing the conditioning part. So I'm not doing a second set. Good. So we're going to do 30 Russian twists. Keeping our back nice and straight, trying to touch the ground on both sides. Awesome. Make sure you do 30. Uh, good job, guys. If you're not done, keep working while I talk. You guys did awesome.